Wait a minute, look what I see over here, guys. What the heck is this? It is. This is a Art the Clown backpack. What the heck? I didn't even know this existed. Spirits open, let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are at our third Spirit Halloween store here in Canada. This is the second St. Catharines location. It's only about 10 minutes away from Penn Center Mall where we just were. And this one has an enormous sign. I think this sign is about the size of the one in the abandoned Bed Bath & Beyond back in North Canton in Ohio. It is kind of interesting to see a different retail landscape. Look at this. We have something down here called No Frills. I might have to bounce in there and check that out as well as the Dollarama over here. But for now, let's go ahead into this Spirit Halloween right here with the enormous sign and just see what it looks inside St. Catherine's store number two in Ontario, Canada. And right inside the door, they have the Spirit Halloween music playing, which unfortunately I can't just stop and let you listen to because of copyrights. But before we get started with the carnival in here, I want to look at this over here. The plush Coraline crossbody bag. I have never seen this before. I'll tell you what, I am having an awesome time in these Canadian stores because so far in every store I've been to, I have seen something I have not seen in other stores. Oh my gosh, I see two more things right over here, but first we're gonna look at the carnival. All right, here we go, guys. We got Ghostface right up front, and we got this guy over here, the ringmaster. Let's get Ghostface going first. I don't know if you can even hear him over the music because the music is so loud even though it's awesome. This guy has the knife and the aged face in place and as you know, you can swap those out to a bloody face and a machete. Oh, hello, rat. Let's leave that guy some stickers right there. And let's come over and check out the ringmaster. It's pretty bright in here, so I don't think we'll be able to see what's happening with this chest. Yeah, you can just barely see it happening there. Oh wow, they got a whole stack of animatronics back here for sale. Let's go ahead through the Carnival sign. Hello, One-Eyed Jack. All right, this is a little different setup here. We got Art standing here in Fredo Tallulah. All right, let's get Tallulah going here. Come on now. Look at how tied up her stuff gets up here, because she throws it all around when she jumps. All right, let's come spin the Wheel of Fate before we do anything else. What will it be? Will I live or will I die in Canada? Come on, let me live in Canada, please. Come on. Your luck just ran out. <laughs> Wait a minute, look what I see over here, guys. What the heck is this? It is. This is a Art the Clown backpack. What the heck? I didn't even know this existed. I don't know what it is with these Canadian stores, but they are absolutely killing it with Art the Clown. I seriously did not even know that this product exists. Art the Clown backpack. I've seen everything else except that backpack. Look at this. We got the boxes down here. We got the costumes here. We got the socks. We got the glasses. We got the knife. I haven't looked at these before, but I know that I've seen them like in pictures online. That's a keychain, and then we have the iron-on patch and pin set, and the pin is the Art Krispies box. That just absolutely blows me away. Back in the States, it is so hard to find any of this Art the Clown stuff. But here in Canada, they are just stocked. That thing just blows me away right now. All right, before we get too carried away, let's come on over here and see this guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mac Straw. Oh, fortune teller ball. Why do these Canadian stores have all the Art the Clown products? All right, before we move on to the fun house of terror, let's check out all of these things right here. Oh my gosh, they got them stacked all around this right here. Then there's even more back there. All right, let's see here. We got a Bubba Man's Possessed Friend right here. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas Groundbreaking Worm. We got Dagger Mike right here. We got a Fogging Skull Pile right here. We got a Demonic Gatekeeper. We got the Ringmaster. We got another dagger mic right here look at this we have a cauldroness we have another groundbreaking worm and they actually have an art the clown animatronic right here right now in ontario canada for sale if you need it get over here now we got the light up ghost face back here we got a max straw back here hiding behind art the clown we got a dark princess right there we got a punchy we got another dagger mic and here's a funny thing when i first saw the dark princess online i thought she was built on desmodus me mechanism desmodus's mechanism i can't even talk but then i realized it's not she's actually built on dagger mike's mechanism we have another bubba here we have an emmeline peeking out there we have a night terror another dark princess a cremator and if you look hiding down here we have that tall guy the giant death ray and then over here we have a fogging skull pile and a gravestone ghoul you know what let's go ahead and leave some stickers here for the night terror i can hear emily talking over here so you know what before we go through the fun house of terror let's just come on over here and watch them for a second i love you thank you i All right, let's get Bobby Strings going here. Once there was a handsome puppet, he said. <laughs> so here's a funny thing. All season long, actually all year long, all the time, people are always asking me what my favorite animatronic is, and the answer changes all the time. I just did an interview with the Associated Press the other day, and this time I said, Bobby Strings. <laughs> I do love Bobby Strings. He's anything but Halloween, but he is a very unique and funny animatronic. All right, I gotta get sidetracked here for a second because look at this awesome SpongeBob mask. This is like a fabric and foam mask. I don't know that I've seen that before. All right, let's go through the Fun House of Terror here. Hello, Fun House. Will we smell cotton candy? Yes, I smell the cotton candy in here, guys. Before cotton candy, after cotton candy. <laughs> and you know where they really could have capitalized on this? If they make it smell like cotton candy in here, you walk through, you smell it, and then you're like, I want cotton candy. And they could have been selling cotton candy right up at the front desk and made a killing. All right, let's keep on going here and see who they have out here. We have two more dark princesses here. I think that's the most I've seen in any stores. A scary sitting scarecrow another dagger mike we got a gordo here and a demonic gatekeeper we got a gravestone ghoul over here and emmeline barnaby the bear hiding behind her slim hiding behind her and a groundbreaking sandworm from beetlejuice i don't see any fleece blankets that i haven't seen before even though they have a ton of them here but i do see the et here that i actually bought in another store and his finger lights up he's way cool and i do see the casper and this is only the second store i've seen him in and they have lord farquad this is only the second store i've seen him in if you know you know all right let's see if we can get a growl out of barnaby the bear <laughs> God, he's super loud. He is so cool. I have not bought him yet either, and I'm probably going to regret it if I don't buy him this season. All right, let's just go ahead and take a walk through the store here, guys. I'm seeing so many things that I've never seen in these stores here. Of course, it is still the beginning of the season. I love these books that are actually boxes you can hide money or whatever in. Look at this one that has a ghost on the front. You can put it on your bookshelf, and then you hide whatever you want in there, and nobody is any wiser when they think it's just a book about the ghosties. This is something else new that I'm seeing in the stores. It's a cauldron that has like the green, I guess that's supposed to be bubbles boiling over. It looks kind of like moss. 
Let's go ahead and leave some stickers in there. I will never carry a crossbody bag, but I gotta say, it's a very creative product. Cat bones. Here's one shaped like a ghost. It's almost like that pearl color rather than just white. This one is actually a backpack, but it's supposed to apparently look like a headstone. It says dead inside. Holy crap, look at this. It is a Toy Story Slinky Dog crossbody bag. <laughs> That is exactly what I'm talking about right there. These things are so creative. The Headless Wednesday Doll Crossbody Bag. The Chucky Knife Crossbody Bag. Sam's Sucker. Handbook for the Recently Deceased. Lydia's Camera, I love this one. The Harley Quinn Hammer Crossbody Bag. Ninja Turtles Pizza. Whoa, look at this Arctic Yeti costume. I've never seen that before. That is absolutely hilarious and enormous. Look at the face on that guy. That is hilarious. Look at this. Yet another thing that I have not seen yet. It's a green Frankenstein's monster statue. Does that thing... I guess it doesn't light up, but it's pretty cool. Here's a gremlin's gizmo sidestepper. Let's get him going. <laughs> I love the sound he makes. They've got the ghost face blow molds down here. Look at this, I'm not even sure what you call these, but you take them and put a candle inside and then it lights up and you can see that this is Chucky on here or Sam from Trick or Treat or the Mars Attacks Alien or Michael Myers. Those are cool. Then we got the little Freddy with a ficus. <laughs> we got plenty of Annabelles and Chuckies and Sams. And look at this, this is only the maybe second store I've seen the articulated statue in. And look at this, they have the Hanging Jack Reaper. I think that's the first one I've seen in a Canadian store and then they have these guys who need the aqua fresh they got the purple haired clown light cover it would be so cool if his eyes were spinning as well like the animatronic inflatable we got the hello rat the secret keeping cat we have carrot and scabs best friends forever and it continues guys look at this this is only the second store that I've seen the art horror baby in and both stores have been the Canadian stores you can go right back there you hoser let's leave some stickers in the buckets we've got the hand eater the pumpkin eater barbara wire the rat eater the spider biter and the baby peekaboo clown look at this guys amongst these inflatables are two that i haven't seen anywhere else yet we have this spider over here that i don't think i've ever seen in stores 12 foot inflatable spider and then we have the sam down here which i also have not seen in any other store and he, I believe, is eight feet tall. Now, if you guys watched the Friday the 13th, everything Friday the 13th video that I put up from Spirit Halloween, you've seen this already. The inflatable piggyback ghost face costume. How cool is that? And look at the inflatable Mike Wazowski costume. One eye! Oh, I just realized we never talked to this guy. Nibbles the Clown. <laughs> We didn't talk to him. We didn't come over here and talk to this guy either. See if we can get him going here. <laughs> we didn't even talk to Cotton Candy Dan. What the heck am I doing? Come on, Dan. Better be careful walking around at this place. You can get in all kinds of sticky situations here. <laughs> and then we got one left that we haven't looked at yet, the giant death ray. Let's go ahead and get him going here. And I'll say it again, he reminds me of the movie Fire in the Sky. If you haven't seen that, make sure you see it very soon. Oh wait, there was something over here that I wanted to show you that I saw when we first came in and I said I'd never seen it in stores before. Maybe I have, but I don't remember. The Good Guys Chucky Box. How cool is that? I love that costume. Wow, that comes with the shirt and the frame and everything. And this was the other thing right here. The Cut Off Chucky 
good guy sweater. What the heck? Chucky 88. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so I have seen the ghost face bling mask. I have seen the ghost face devil face bling mask, but I have never seen the ghost face mirror ball mask. Yes, it's a mirror ball mask. The shroud is even sparkly like the 25th anniversary mask. That is very cool. Look at that. <laughs> Another ghost face thing they have this year that's new for this year at Spirit is this What's Up spoof mask from Scary Movie. What's up? And look at this, guys. We're going to finish this video off with their awesome collection of tumblers. I just bought the Art Krispies tumbler in the first store that I went to here in Canada. They also have the Coraline Tumbler, which I have not seen at all. Nightmare Before Christmas here with Jack Skellington. We got Wednesday there. They got Mars Attacks. And in this one hiding back here, this heart, the bleeding heart. Wow, they actually have three of the Art Krispies ones. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. 